going to say I, I think it's actually stronger than that. Okay. That what we what is referred to as M theory isn't even a theory. Yes. It's 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 a collection of ideas, hopes, aspirations. Exactly. Mm. It's not even a theory. And I think the book is a bit misleading yes. in that respect. It gives you the impression that here is this this new theory mm. which is going to explain everything. It's nothing of the sort. David, well, that's just an ex that's an example. Okay. You mean if if the question is is there any evidence for the, the so-called multiverse? For multiple universes. The answer is very simple, no. No. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the answer is there is no evidence, no evidence, no evidence. But there are reasons to think there might be. So there is, that's oh. really important, there's no well, evidence I, for extra universes, just as there isn't the slightest bit of evidence that there are extra dimensions. Okay. But there are good theoretical <laughs> reasons for people to think of these possibilities. I'll add one thing. And you, that's not what I meant by mine, no. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> but but let, me, let me just say there is a way. You might think it's metaphysics, and it's really important to realize that theorists aren't doing metaphysics. And Frank alluded to it. But the point is, there are regions, there may be many universes that we can never see and never detect directly. You might say, well, that's just metaphysics. Or worse, religion. But anyway, uh, it it's, it's walks like a duck, quacks like a duck. Yes. Yeah. So I, I, I really don't want to get into this. But... <laughs> but, but, but one, one aspect of this, which is the one that I is mo I find most uncomfortable, mm -hmm. aside from the fact that it, can't, you know, it it really is a is a word you haven't or no one here has actually mentioned yet, the anthropic principle. Mm -hmm. So the whole attempt to make use of this notion is. A, it tends to lead most people who work in that direction to anthropic arguments. Now, uh, unfortunately, one can't prove, and if one could, the argument would end that this is logically inconsistent. <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. But um, there's something that m all, most physicists feel, especially given the history of physics, very uncomfortable about uh, in this set of ideas, uh, which is independent of the anthropic principle, and that is discussing a, a um, framework in which one discusses things that are, in principle, never observable. And, um, and that is true of a vast collection of causally disconnected so-called universes. So we all feel uncomfortable with that. And we would all be greatly reassured if those who follow that direction, and some have tried, not successfully yet, to reframe this in a way that doesn't use as a <laughs> conceptual framework in principle unobservable things. Okay. Smells of angels. Okay.